an immaculate wild landscape spread over 170 square kilometers. The high plains of Vercors constitute the largest nature reserve in mainland France. A park with no roads and no permanent housing. A hostile land where the few visitors must cope with the elements. Forest warden Brice Palek is one of its protectors. One of the specifics of the Vercors High Plains Park is that there are no permanent human dwellings. So in winter, nobody lives here at all. In summer, the shepherds are here, but there are practically no buildings. It's a one-hour walk just to reach the park. So he stops for lunch against an extraordinary backdrop. It's still fairly accessible. It's protected and a very typical mountain environment. I'm so lucky to work here every day. Despite appearances, the nature reserve is home to a number of animals. One of Brice Palek's tasks is to study them in order to better protect them. These are tracks made by hares. In winter, we mainly know the presence of animals through their tracks. That's how we see them. Brice Palek has another task. Hello. To inform passing hikers. Yeah, it's great today. Good conditions, eh? Yeah, it's fine for the moment. How do you tell the difference between wolf tracks and big dog tracks? What's typical of a wolf compared to a dog is that there are kinds of switches. You think you're tracing a single wolf and then all of a sudden you think, hang on, there are two of them. Then it switches again and then there's only one set of tracks. That's the way we know we're tracking a wolf. The wolf isn't the only wild animal to live in the Vercors Nature Reserve. Here, southern, mountain, and continental species share the habitat like nowhere else. Rare and discreet populations. Brice Palek has recently discovered a family of birds of prey. He's trying to find their nest hidden in the rock. There's definitely a bird in the nest. Now I have to wait to observe its behavior. They haven't chosen a flat area, which means they're young. And there's a possibility of the egg falling from the nest or the fledgling being unable to take off. We really want fledglings to have a successful first flight. He'll have to stay here for hours to try to find out more before going back down into the valley. In the Vercors Park, Humans are nestled within nature, far from civilization. To go from one slope to the next, they must take steep paths, like Combe Laval, carved from the mountain, suspended above a 500-meter void. The only route for the local postman, Laurent Cazès, who nearly lost his life here. It was snowing, but very wet snow, which is dangerous. I skidded into the ravine, the car flipped three or four times and crashed into a tree. We'll stop at another lookout point. Whatever the season, Laurent Cazès's round brings him here every day. Despite the danger, he's a happy man. It's an amazing view. I used to live in the Paris area and delivered mail to 50-story office blocks at La Défense. When there's fog in the valley and I'm above it, with a blue sky above, I have to stop and take a photo, even though I've already done it dozens of times. A breath of fresh air? Then Laurent is back on the 90-kilometer route he covers every day. In the small remote hamlets, like here in Fondurl, 1,500 meters above sea level, Laurent knows all the inhabitants. He brings us snippets of local news, like births and deaths, which won't be in the papers until the next day. He's our remote little land's link to the outside world. But one thing hasn't been lost. The tradition of walnuts is still alive and kicking on the Vercors High Plains. Gathered in autumn, they're ground in winter to produce oil with a unique flavor. Like here at the Léon Mill. I'm putting in the ground kernels and I'll start to heat them. 
Heating the kernels makes the oil they contain more fluid so it can be extracted more easily when pressed. The second reason is heat intensifies the aromas which give a fuller flavor to the walnut oil. This oil is very sweet, with a slight aftertaste of hazelnut and buttered bread. For eight months a year, the whole region is covered in snow, a natural constraint that makes this corner of paradise difficult to access, to the great pleasure of its inhabitants.